The Duenic Allegory from Theatrum Chemicum Three, narrated by Matthew Schmitz. There was an old duke called Duenic. He saw himself despised in the meeting of monarchs on account of his deep melancholy. After a deliberation with friends how this melancholy could be suppressed and how the blood with the other excellent temperaments could get the upper hand, he sent for the physician Farut and offered him a high reward if he, Farut, the prince of physicians, could cure him. Thereupon Farut said that it would be a protracted and difficult cure which only he could bring about and he promised to cure Duanik. They fixed a time to begin, namely when Saturn was in opposition with the sun. Thereupon Farut ordered everybody to leave the duke's house, with the exception of a little fool in gay-colored garments, who was allowed to stay to entertain the duke. After, Farut put Duanik in a bed with white sheets and covered him well, so that he might not be killed by the smoke of the nearest furnace. Then he gave him clear water, in consequence of which Duenic began to sweat so strongly that the white sheets were completely stained. The black bile had been dissolved in the whole of Duenic's body. Thereupon Farut prepared another bed for him, the bolster of which was filled with the feathers of a young black eagle and the pillow with swan's feathers. On the bed a black sheet and a white cover were laid. Duenic was put in this bed and all air holes were entirely closed so that neither sweat nor vapor might escape. This bed was heated, and Farut rubbed Duenic's body and feet with evil-smelling oil until the black bile had spread to the top of his head. From the change of color, it was clear that Duenic became unconscious several times. Farut opened Duenic's mouth and rejoiced when he saw that Duenic's palate was white. At last, he laid the exhausted monarch into a third bed and revived him there with water and oil, mixed with sulfur. When Duenic looked at himself, he saw that he was freed from melancholy and had new healthy blood, and that he surpassed all his fellow soldiers in power. <laughs>